Here we go guys, just a real quick price action update on Bitcoin. This is the daily chart, every candle is just 24 hours of price action. And we still have two hours to go uh, before this candle right here, this red candle closes, and also the weekly candle. But let's just go ahead and start on the daily here, kind of show you, you know, where we came from, where we are, and what can we expect next, okay? Had this incredible breakout run up, you know, obviously, and let me just show you real quick down here where it all started really this is all you know one big green candle so to speak okay and then uh also we had some consolidation through here pull back at kind of a slam down candle and then our breakout with uh you know follow through and well i'll give you a little inside tip here a lot of times uh during a sideways consolidation zone like this It'll consolidate either at the bottom of the candle or at a top. And normally that candle will be a substantial uh, size bar. And a uh, high percentage of the time, it'll be the fifth candle that breaks out. And if it is the fifth candle, you have like an 80, 83% chance probability that you will continue to the upside. So you had one, two, three, four, and then right here, the fifth candle. Uh, broke out and then of course you see the follow-through up you know to the upside and what's nice about this is that we have this big breakout clearing candle in other words it cl basically cleared out everything over here uh, you know to the left uh, a lot of this again consolidation uh, zone up here at the top and then something crazy happened and I'll show you that on the weekly chart how that uh, started out but anyway had a green candle here and both the longs and the shorts hey both people you know both sides got to admit here they got head faked but uh this was a green candle at one time and i'm sure a lot of people jumped in and around that twenty-five thousand zone and a lot of the shorts the bears jumped in on the short side in that area too and of course you know uh that you know for the day that is you know the shorts the bears won because it ended up selling off a big um you know topping tail sell off uh candle here potential uh reversal candle okay that's i mean this especially uh coming from a you know a low side to the upside uh that was definitely a good candle uh to get in on to the short side okay but we only had one factor, so that's why, you know, we did. We want two things on our, on our side to give us an 80% chance of, you know, success probability instead of just one, which is basically a 60%, uh, percent, sometimes 50-50, okay, that it'll continue in the direction you think it will. But anyway, the next day, uh, a 180, I mean, this is like an oil tanker, aircraft carrier, cruise liner, you know, with that type of candle coming back in the next day and making that 180 turn that quick. I mean, that was major market, uh, you know, uh, confirmation here. Now, we are consolidating somewhat sideways now in that upper range. Uh, we made a high, a little bit lower high, lower high. Now, today we came up, you know, took out the previous day's high, but no, you know, obviously uh, it doesn't look like we're going to close up there. Okay, so let's go to the weekly. That's where all the the magic is. And uh, as you can see, we have the, the 200. And this is why so many folks, shorts, bears, everybody jumped in up here around that $25,000 zone. You know, first is a psychological number. Then secondly, yet a, uh, you know, the 200 here, which is normally a uh, huge resistance as you come back up into it. And of course, we have the 50, which we were coming from, uh, from an extended price range uh, way back here. So we knew that was going to be a little bit tough, you know, to get up and over. Then you had this high pivot here, as you can see. So you had several factors, actually, uh, on your side to, uh, you know, uh, prove your thesis that we were going to, you know, possibly get a pullback. And at this time, you know, it's only lasted, a, you know, a short period of time, actually, but, you know, there's always tomorrow, so we'll, you know, uh, be watching that closely. Now, currently, where we are, we're still obviously under the 50 and the 200, still our resistance. But all that they would need to do 
is pop in, you know, five, six hundred dollar candle here, which is nothing for Bitcoin in order to close it up and over uh, the 50 and the 200. And when that happens, you know, for example, this 25, 500 would probably be a real good spot uh, to look for an explosion into the, you know, high 20s, low 30s at that point in time. OK, and there's another little uh, well, first of all, this was a 83 to 87 percent probability candle that you would get continuation and push to the upside because we took out, you know, this big candle over here, all this sideways consolidation. And normally the longer uh, this period of time is, uh, the breakout either to the upside or downside, because it can work either way, uh, the stronger, the harder, the faster it will run. And then if you look at it real closely, it's, man, you got to look for those Easter eggs. We came down one, two, three to the low. So basically you put in that W formation. So you had a low pivot here, red, green pivot to the upside. And then down here, red, green pivot to the upside. But this low pivot uh, was, was obviously lower than this one. Okay, so that's what gave us the W. And if you remember, the only way markets reverse is a V-shape, like we saw during COVID, a W shape, which is the strongest and really the one that you want. And then you have one, let me take all that off, cleared up, uh, that we recently had where you just come straight down. You know, there's all the pain, the suffering, and then you start getting away from it. People start to forget about that pain and suffering, so to speak. You know, time heals all they say. And then you make your move to the upside, okay? So that's pretty much what we've done recently. Now, Here's another one, uh, 80, you know, 80 plus percent probability of success if we can close here, uh, actually now, less than two hours from now, up and over this high pivot to the green, red pivot to the downside. Okay, that's called a two down, one up. And this is basically one big green candle here, okay? And then you have the two uh red candles or you could even call it one red candle closing uh down inside of it here and then see it's in the upper range okay you can divide this into three parts and it stayed in that upper third okay really upper probably 25 percent let me take all this off so you can see then we had a breakout candle you look on your charts you know i won't waste your time doing it here but anyway you can look on your charts from a two minute chart hourly four hour daily whatever and you'll see these two down one ups all over the place especially in on bitcoin but anyway you know should we within the next let's say you know less than two hours close this candle where it is now especially if we can get over this high pivot let me put everything back on here well i thought i had a line pop there hold on oh wait i gotta go with this one okay sorry I knew I had it set up for you. Anyway, uh, right here, this red dash line would be good if we could close over it. Right now, we're flirting with it. Uh, I'd like to see it, you know, move a little higher, but, you know, hey, we'll take what we can get. So anyway, see, we came back, tested this high pivot here uh, on this red candle. Here we go. And like I said, you know, 80 plus percent uh, probability that uh, for next week it might not happen you know the first two or three days of next week but uh, we have a high probability high chance of continuation simply because of that two down one up candle here okay and then once we close on the safe side 25,500 25, the next uh, uh, resistance zone is you know right right in here, uh, 29.4 so. And then as you come up, you know, we start hitting a little bit at, you know, 31.9, 32,000. And then, you know, you just kind of keep moving up, uh, 36,000. So yeah, we close uh, 25,005, just to be on the safe side. Yeah, that will explode uh, Bitcoin up into the high 20s, low 30s. And then probably some consolidation, a little bit of backfill, you know, uh, back test. And then we'll continue up into that, uh, you know, mid to high 30s. Now, I've, I'm under the thesis that, uh, well, for a couple of different reasons. But anyway, the bottom was put in 
uh, you know, the, the middle to the end of November of 2022 last year okay it was right in here and one of the reasons being is that um, you can back test it yourself but you go out to the next having okay at any time the having you know happened and you back test it you know 470 days and that's where the the true bottom the consolidation period was was going on okay and our next having I want to say but I might have this a little while. I think it's the 10th or the 12th. Now, this is a weekly chart, so the times are going to be off a little bit. There's the 11th. Okay. Yeah, the 11th, 469. Yeah, 469 days. That's close enough to 470, which put us back, you know, uh, the end of November of last year. Okay. So that's my thesis. Uh, that's what I'm sticking with. So we're looking for you know, a positive 2023 and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll go from there. All right, guys, I'm trying to see if there's anything else that we need to talk about, but in the meantime, give us a follow on Twitter, Crypto Charts Joe, and we will see you on the charts.